In the process of designing a PCB, you'll often run into a situation where you'll need to edit a polygon. In this video, we will look at the available editing options. You can edit the shape by directly moving the vertices and sides of the polygon. While moving, using the shift space keys, you can change the editing modes of the vertices and sides. In order for the polygon to automatically re-pour after being edited, open the Preferences, PCB Editor, General Settings. The Re-Pour Polygons After Modification checkbox must be checked. In addition to editing the external perimeter of a polygon, you can use the Modify button in the Properties panel of the selected polygon. When you activate this command, you will need to define the shape of the polygon, starting on the desired side. While drawing the outline of the polygon and using the Shift plus Space keys, you can change the vertex and edge creation modes. You can add openings to the polygons without changing their shape. In other words, closed cutouts can be created within polygons. To do this, use the Polygon Pour Cutout tool. Cutouts are created the same way as polygons, and the ability to change the direction of the sides and the modes of drawing corners using the Space and Shift Space keys are available. The polygon will be modified with the cutout added. You can edit the shape of the cutout just as you would the shape of a polygon. You can copy an existing cutout by selecting it, using the shortcut Ctrl C, and using Ctrl V to paste it into another polygon. Complex polygons can be created from simple polygons by combining them. Note that the polygons you intend to combine must be overlapping as shown. To combine polygons, select them with the Shift key. Right-click on any of the selected polygons and click Combine Selected Polygons from the Polygon Actions menu. The selected polygons will be combined into one. Polygons can be divided into a series of smaller ones. To do this, select the polygon to be sliced, right-click on it, and select the command Polygon Actions Slice Polygon Pour. The cursor goes into Slice Creation Mode, the line shown representing how the polygon will be cut. This line must be started outside the extents of the polygon. Using the Tab key, we can set the line width. This will be the clearance between the polygons. When creating a line, you can switch drawing modes by using Shift Space. The polygon slicing line should go completely across the polygon. To complete the creation of the split, double right mouse button click and confirm the separation with the Yes button. You'll need to re-pour the sliced polygons. Select them and right click on them. Select Polygon Actions, Re-Pour Selected. The polygons will be rebuilt. The gap between them is equal to the line width. The net for the new polygons formed by the split remains the same. Altium Designer has the ability to subtract the shape of one polygon from another. Polygons must overlap to utilize this feature. Select the polygon from which we will subtract. Right click and choose the Polygon Action Subtract Polygons from Selected option. Then click on the polygon you want to subtract copper from and right mouse button click. The shape of the polygon will be rebuilt. If the subtracting polygon is completely enclosed by the larger polygon, using this command will create a cutout as if it had been done with the Polygon Cutout tool. So now we've gone over some powerful tools that will help you edit polygons more quickly, efficiently, and the way you want. Thanks for watching. Next up, how to remove unused pads.